When we do not the real one? Uh, that was that was the real video. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. It's impossible to get this guy to do a video. Oh. So, <laughs> so you have to kind of, you know, go through oh. and, and pretend like you're not doing oh, the video sorry. to actually do the video if you want to get Carl. I love you too. <laughs> we know each other okay, so well. Yeah, yeah. Good. This is a cool bag. I it's mean, cool I, that, bag. That's, yeah, there's I, no, no yeah. deceit there, but, uh, but. And it's from 511, we can sell it at all the shops. So. Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here at Enforce Tech. I'm with my buddy Einar from 511. We are in the B&T booth, which is coincidentally right next to the 511 booth. Exactly. So we got to use some props. And by props, I mean Carl Brueger. We actually tricked him into being on camera, which is what you have to do to talk about this prototype carry bag yes. for a rifle. What is this? Exactly. So we call it the 511 LV COVID carry rifle case. Like you said, James, this is a sample, it's a prototype, so also the coloring is a sample. But the whole idea is, of course, to be able to carry rifles in an environment where you don't want people to know that you are carrying them. Mm -hmm. Perhaps across the square, you know, whatever you need to go to do your It doesn't job, look yeah. like a rifle case, it exactly, doesn't exactly. look like a rifle bag. It yeah. looks kind of a little bit larger than like a standard backpack, but nothing no. that you would, if you saw somebody with exactly. this. Yeah, you, you wouldn't think, oh my gosh, that guy definitely has like a, an APC in no. there. Do you think there's real utility here, Carl? Is this something like I perfectly that? like it. I think it's great to have a range bag where you can put all your stuff in. And is that what you would use this for, as a range bag? Oh, I think so, yeah. I think it looks silly, it's good. It and actually it, is pretty nice. Enough place for magazine, accessories, earplugs. I think it's a great bag. You could put two rifles in there, what would yep. they be? And the sub gun on the outside. I'm asking you, what, what would they be if you could put two rifles in here? I put my APCs in if I go to the range, <laughs> in 308 and 556. How convenient, that's yeah, what we that have would here. Be good. Is that your honest answer? Or is that, that are you just yeah, I think I could put anything else in. But... Do you like the APC more than the SPC? Yeah. You do? Yeah, it's still in this childhood, so let's, let's be frank, it's the... It's the working thing of us. I haven't shot the 308 yet. Yeah. How much does the 308 weigh, the APC 308? It's pretty light. Oh, you're a gonna three and a half kilo, maybe. Yeah, it's that, still heavier than an AR. How's the recoil, honestly, on it? I haven't okay. shot it. You no, have a, honestly. You have a recoil boost, uh, hydraulic buffer. It's, it's for female. <laughs> so we shouldn't say so that. So I can maybe. handle it? <laughs> no, you so don't. <laughs> no, I, it's, I, every time I've handled one, I mean, they're just so lightweight. And I'm like, this has to suck to, to no, shoot. No, it's funny to shoot, I think. We have the new folding stock, which is adjustable in length. And we have a cheek rest here. Then we have a, a non-reciprocating. Non non-reciprocating. It's all right, you've hand. been drinking, I know. That's true. <laughs> and magazine catch, everything is ambidextrous. <laughs> we have the two-position gas key. Nothing special, alloy lower. Works Nothing with special. Mugpool magazines. I think it's special. We have both these rifles, so we had the 5.56 five, and the 2.23. I didn't think that yeah. this was going to fit, and, and it won't, but once you fold the stock perfectly. We could even fit the 5.56 five, inside. It also. The opposite way, if we can extend the stock. You want to accommodate as many rifles as possible, so what we did here is we tried to uh, take a normal concept of a covert carry rifle case and then add some features to it so sure. to accommodate for the size size thing right so just a normal bag in many senses the i don't know we got some probably got some props here from shot show yes we do this is only a prop yeah but, <laughs> i was gonna say uh, it. Uh, we were you were supposed to go with that. that's yeah. an actual loaded <laughs> block 17 from america yeah you know big big space for whatever yeah. you need to carry for an air pillow air pillows they're important the interesting compartment though is the one at the bottom it is where you can actually stick your rifles so what we have here is um, two strap systems so you can fit up to two rifles um, and a hardened bottom here to carry and distribute right the so this is like a semi-rigid prevent your rifle from falling through exactly your bag. exactly I mean, and creating a, a profile 
right. because of its weight. Right, so you've got yep. like these straps here, you can actually support it with the bag, like exactly. the weight of the rifles. Exactly, you, once you've configured it, you attach it more permanently and distribute the weight across the bottom of the, of the bag. The beauty though is that I now have, for instance, the APC 308, which was the longer of the two. Right, so we, we had the APC, yeah. we had Carl demo it for yeah. us against his will. You can put an APC 556 collapse exactly. and, and you're fine. Like this will work in the regular profile, but if you need something a little bit larger, like the APC 308, yeah. With a, even with the stock folded here, yeah. it's not going to work. No, you can see it's sticking out about a couple of inches. So Sure. That's not very low vis. That's pretty high vis. It is. In my opinion. Maybe super it high vis. Is. We do have a solution for that. So basically here at the bottom, we just unzip that zipper and we pull out the bottom and shove this hardened compartment down. And now you have extended the bag by about four inches. Sure. And, and almost, yeah, a perfect yeah, there fit you are. right there for, for both the of them, away. in fact. Yeah. And it still looks, if we zip it up, sure, it's a little bit longer, but the overall profile hasn't yeah. really changed that much. I mean, it's a no. bigger pack, um, but it's the same material all the way around. Exactly. So. The idea is that this extended part at the bottom is going to be as, as covered as the rest of the bag. Right, so. yeah, exactly. And when you don't need that, just stuff it back in yep. there and you can zip this up and it, it just looks like a normal bag. That's the idea. This is a prototype. It is. Do we know when it's going to meet production? So it is going into production now. We hope to see this out in the fall of 23. Okay. So small modification still uh, pending, but uh, it's going into production. Fall 23 is the launch uh, objective. So hopefully Globally we'll see it in the or, or just in Europe? Globally. Einer, thank you very much for walking James? me through the, the LV. What, what LV Covert Carry. The LV yeah. Covert Carry bag. Guys, stay tuned. We're bringing you more from Enforce Tech, and we've got EWA tomorrow.